Hello guys, it's FX Freak here with another video of my build of the Westland Links and look how much I've done on it. Cockpit glass in, back propeller, exhaust underneath, machine guns, cockpit, that's the underneath. Yeah. That's, I've done loads of it since the last build and it looks very nice. And with all the painting and the stick uh, decals, I'm going to do a review of it. That's the instructions. I'm on instruction 100. And that's the propeller. I'm waiting to dry, which looks awesome. And then I'm going to stick it on for, to show you. And I might even show a bit of painting. So that's all good. So let's get into the build of this. Okay, so here's our propeller. What we're going to do with our poly cement, put a bit of glue on. Okay. that down that's not good at all hold on guys and there you have it guys the West African links from the Afghanistan patrol set all finished with the propeller from and now let's get into the painting. Okay guys, so this is my painting gear. As you can see, I've got the Humbrol Enamel Matte 159, which is like a dark hammer green. I've got a Humbrol Enamel Gloss 19, which is a red. That comes off very shiny, in case you were wondering. Then I've got an 85 Matte Black, which is very good. Then I've got 127 uh, Humbra Acrylic Silver. And look, it's Beyonce. No, that's my can of coat. Got my um, micro masking tape there for really detailed bits, like around the cockpit glass. I need this very nicely. And my thin paint brush. And yeah, I might actually, because um, I get some really, really good tips from um, basic modelling as well as Model Pro 72. And he, uh, model, uh, basic modelling said how you can make your own uh, weathering and you get some sandpaper and what's the, and some like crayons and rub it and then mix it into a paste. And you gently uh, apply it to the texture of your helicopter or whatever you're doing. So I might actually do a tutorial on weathering on this. I'd use a paintbrush because that's what he recommended. So let's get into the painting. Okay, so I've got my paintbrush and I've mixed up this silver 127 uh, light aircraft grey into a nice light texture. No. Um, I'm just going to do a first coat of this just all around the plane. And yeah, I recommend these paints because if I just turn it over, you can see that patch there just goes on first coat, which is pretty excellent. And yeah, I am going to be doing a tutorial on weathering. Okay, so I've done the underneath of my helicopter in the grey, and yeah, this is the um, colour code if you're wondering, shows you where to put some of the decals, 
It actually says user 145, but I'm using my own grey. 33 is matte black, 53 is gun metal, I think I've actually got that. And 116 is matte US dark green, which, if you compare it, they're basically the same, aren't they? Which is all good, and um, my black is exactly the same. So, yeah. And then on the other page, it's got the stenciling where to put those absolutely flipping loads of decals. And that's my Land Rover, which I've already done. So, let's get into painting it again. So, I've done the entire underneath there. Okay. I'm just going to touch up some things. Got to avoid the glass there. My brush is very thin, so it makes it pretty easy. I don't think I need to go over this in a second coat, actually. It's going on very, very, very nicely. Oh. Hold on guys while I go over the whole thing in the silver. Now guys, this is where it starts getting tricky because I want a thin line all the way along here of just silver and then I can do the camo on the other side. So to do that and keep the line straight, I'm going to use some of this micro masking tape. Very useful. And I'm going to do a tutorial. So what you do... You just place it on the line you want, like so, stick it down firmly, and that's going to come up with a lovely straight line once you've done all your silver, so I'll show you the line when I've finished. Hello again guys, and as you can see, I've just finished the line and all this grey along there. Look how perfect that line is from that masking tape. So my battery is running low on my camera, so this is going to be quite a long build. And yeah, I've done all the underside in grey that. And see you next time when I'm going to be doing the bars here in a red gloss and a matte black 85. So stay tuned for that, and in the meantime, have a good day.